pal. Over here. All hangar crew. Hazard gear is on standby. You're right, Lyndon. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon. What have you done? Relax, Otto. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Y-Wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slow. So, uh, with the Empire eavesdropping on New Republic comms, do you think Teresa Carroll overheard... everything? She only cares about finding her Starhawk, Frisk. <laughs> oh, sure, sure, still. You better bomb this listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Squadron, we're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. 
Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing, the Empire had no choice but to intercept. What could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? Just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go, Five. Give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away.
You let them destroy our broadcast dishes. So much for the distress call. Nice shooting, Five. Those Imperials are on their own. Impressive. Nice work. Gibbs won't be calling any reinforcements today. systems.
to the thermal system. and attack the power cores.
Shoot the columns. That'll do the trick. Five, destroy the columns. All I'm saying is, instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials, <laughs> or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. You know, we used to be rebels. We turned into a legit republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? <laughs> in the old days, I'd trick her for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> but I guess this'll do. Well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we get some actual work done? Time to get you brief. First, congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep... So, the false intel with this bait will draw... Don't worry about the convoy. Vanguard, your destination is there. Now, it might sound simple. If Lyndon's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. Sooner the better, if you ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. 
They can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow, play this out, and see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. When the Empire occupied Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials, playing the dumb alien. A bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted. And Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? And the Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. So, the boss wants to pull the old bait-and-switch on Teresa. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the Abyss just for the chance to destroy some Magnite Crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? I'm kind of excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. That's one good thing about this new Republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. One way or another, this is gonna be a show.
Titan 1, standing by. Titan 3, here and ready. Titan 2, at the ready. Titan 5, in formation. Titan 4, in formation. Enemy fighters inbound. Strike them down, destroy the MC-75, and then New Republic wreckage in orbit, Galatan, for the rest of time. Rely on your eyes, not just your radar. Your senses really lie. Strategic superiority has arrived.
Now we turn the tides. Impressive!